God for such a time and a day like this. God is a good God. You see, in John 10, 27 to 30, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. And I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. For my Father who has given them to me is greater than all. And no one is able to snatch them out of my hand father's hands i and the father are one uh, jesus here completely identifies with the father in every way and the issue of identification or identity is so important um, how are you how is your christianity uh, when they saw them first in antioch they called them christians why because they were just like christ uh, are you like christ is your christianity like Christ in any way. You see, it's so very, very important. Jesus said in Matthew uh, 7, 15, uh, 16, he says, you shall know them by their fruits. You shall know them by their fruits. When it comes to things of the Spirit, you can't take it, uh, or you can't fake it to make it in any way. Some people can fake it but some of the time, but you can't fake it all of the time. Is your Christianity genuine? Uh, we advise not to, not, not to be carried away by the sheep clothing. It is the fruits. Many times we are after the gift. Many times we are after the talent. But Jesus, God is looking for the fruits. He's looking for the fruit of the Spirit. It is the fruit that verifies and authenticates our personality. In terms of our, in, 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 in relationship with God, how are you? Are you bearing the fruits? That, the Bible says in Matthew 7, it says, so, ev so is every good tree that bears fruit, but bad fruit trees bear evil fruit. A good fruit cannot bear good fruit, neither can a bad fruit bear good fr fruit. It's important for us to realize that and notice as well that God wants to see the fruit in your life. As a Christian, as a believer, how do my neighbors see me? In my place of work, how do my colleagues see me? In my business, how do I do business? Is the love is, is love in my life? Do I have peace? Is my Christianity, does, does it is it a testimony to the world that we live in? Only you can answer that. Only I can answer that. But I want to challenge you this week. Be a light to your neighbor. Be an encouragement to your colleague. Be a testimony. Be a true representative of Christ. Paul the Apostle says, he says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet not I. But the life that I live, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me, who gave himself for me. Do you identify with Christ to that extent? I want to pray for you this week that as you go about your day-to-day -day activity, that you know that Jesus is watching. God is looking. The Bible says men look on the outside, but God looks on the inside. I want to encourage you to take your Christianity serious, especially in these days that we're in. Take, your, take the service serious. Is appointed unto man to die once, after which judgment. Are you happy with the way your life is? Are you a true testimony of who God is? If that's not the case, you can call God afresh into your life today. If you are fallen, you can ask Him to restore you. You can ask Him to renew you. So before I go this morning, I want to pray for you. Lord, I pray for those who are listening this morning. The Lord, you will touch them. The Lord, you will renew them. The Lord, you will revive them. The Lord, you will restore them. The Lord, you, you, you will strengthen them on the inside. I pray for those who are going through challenges and difficult times. Father God, with you all things are possible. Holy Spirit, I pray as they turn to you this week that you will, that you will visit them again. That Lord, you will restore your glory, your light, your joy and your peace within them. I thank you. I give you all the glory and all the honor because you alone are worthy. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Have a wonderful week.